Thomas was alone. Welcome back guys. We are gonna do Thomas was alone today. And first thing I wanna say before we start off with the game is that this game's got two amazing features that a lot of games don't have anymore. One, a great soundtrack, which is just amazing. And also it's got a narration, so I'm not gonna be speaking too much through it during the narration part, so just watch and listen. Thomas was alone. Well, a weird first thought to have. He's not actually alone. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was. Oh, sorry about that. I'll try not to cut out the narration. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... what's the word? Jump? Jump. Well, guess what? I can jump! It jump worked! Like a pro. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. This all seemed a little dangerous. The There's world was there. not to be trusted. Did I get it? It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Ah, forget it. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Nah, paranoia. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might, or might not, be important. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. The swimming it! He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Good job, Thomas. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was Dang a it. mental list to consider. 
Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, ah! he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He oh, just yeah. wished he had someone to share it with. Father like a Pokemon, guys. Father like a Pokemon. Dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Whoa, Chris. Suck me. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. Good, we don't need him. graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's pretty. Probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. So, why do we need him then? Can't we just leave him? I'd rather be the only person in the world. Leave him. We don't need him. Thomas is very awesome. Anyways. Let's go. Yeah, poor time. You even sound fat. Look at this. To catch up at all. But. But. Oh, another achievement. Yes. Okay. This was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which, of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Oh yeah. Let me up. Fine, Thomas just has to do everything for you, dude. Man, you should be so nice to Thomas. Grace, You're Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Yeah, see, Chris, even the narrator says you should be nicer to us. with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Yeah, that's me! That's that awesome. would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. Hey. Hey, watch your mouth, dude. The next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. You suck, Chris. Get on here. No, Chris! No! That was almost dead. To poor Chris. Man, I know we hate him and everything, but still. It's the only cube that we know of in this world. Oh, 
Ah! Okay, let's try Chris. Jump. show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Hey, hey, we're not dots. Where did they come from, anyway? John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Awesome. Oh, God. Oh. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use uh. time to show those little dots how it was done. It was done like that. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he'd practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> all these years. Oh, don't worry, guys, I'm gonna get Chris. So fat and heavy and slow. Move faster, Chris! No, oh, come on, Chris, that was just shameful. You should be ashamed of yourself. Jump! Did I really just do that? to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. That's a little dude. The one little here is Chris. He's not little, he's fat. 
no offense. It's just the truth. Okay. Let's do this, Chris. Too much trouble. Struggling. Trouble. Why was I saying it like that? I don't know. Will I ever know? Chris, you could do it. Oh, Chris. Disappointment, Chris. Braces. It's all their fault. No, oh, yes. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. No! Dang it! Okay, that's gonna be difficult. Oh, really? We have to have John. Come on, John. We'll give you some more plotting. Because Chris sucks. Just. No! Yes! Chris, you made it. Okay, Thomas, turn next. Yes! Yes! No, Thomas, get on. Okay, true. Orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Um, John, his name is Chris. Sorry, you weren't introduced. He has a name. He's not just the orange thing. Classification is important, dude. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. Oh, John you're right. Was sure, the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Oh, well, uh, Thomas is actually quite good by himself. You and extra guys can all leave. Yeah. Let's go, John. Score one. 
Thomas time. Yeah. Go Thomas. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. Oh, it's they were like the thought. He decided to keep them. Oh, they were there to help Thomas. This game is about Thomas. Not John. Next chapter. Point one. Is this where I think it is? This was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. No. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Superpowers! Super Claire. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Oh, I'm confused. Isn't that John back there? Did John just like get teleported to Claire? Right? Is that where you get out of? Because I'm lost here. John all of a sudden showed up. Claire. Oh, wait, they're all here now. Alright! Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you! Super Claire! Yeah! Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. There was. <gasps> no! No! We lost her! Why? I'm so sorry. Oh, okay! Sorry, there's a lot of switching here. Okay, there we go. Ah! Oh. Okay. There. You're actually quite good at jumping. Okay, push, push. Jump, you first, uh huh. Okay. Second, Chris. Okay. And I'm assuming Claire goes over here. Perfect. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to leave it here today. I will right, we'll start this up in a couple days with the next episode. So, thanks for watching.